on a picture perfect Friday night in Stores, Connecticut. You see Campbell Pavilion, that's in the background of Burl Family Field. We've got Friday night softball in the Big East for you as UConn welcomes in Providence. 18 and three in her freshman season. Firing a one, two and getting a swing and a miss. Look at her bust her inside. That sets her up. Now she's looking way up over her hands. That's too hard for Petrarca to lay off of. And that's going to be Sokolsky's go-to pitch. That Any opportunity crucial for these Friars. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Strike three called. Elise Sokolsky does such a great job here. She throws it hard and away to get the batter's Number eyes going that way. Jerk. Then Number the eight. off speed Four. on the inside Four. part of the plate. The 0-2. Oh. Sokolsky strikes out the side of the first. The 1-0. Marcelino's taking off. Here's the throw down. It's not in time. Make it 27 for the Huskies record holder. Marcelino's fast, but what makes her so great is her ability to get such a great jump off of first base. That throw's not even close. She slides in safely and up going. Third on the team with 14 runs batted in, and the rise is rolling. Do it. She plans to, and the rise is unstoppable. And then as an infielder to this program, but the coaching staff discovered she could catch and she's taken on that roll as that one is roped out to center field. It's over the head of the center fielder and held to a long single as Erica Corrin. Brings up Brianna Marcelino with two down. Worth at second. And Marcelino out to right field. That's off the wall. And will bring in the first run. Marcelino digging for three. Brianna Marcelino with her second triple of the season and her 30th run batted in. Way the third, watch the way that she just goes with this outside pitch. She gets behind the ball, hits it to right center field, then she gets on her horse all the way to third, knowing that she gives her team another chance to score a run after this. She's fired up, so is Coach Valentino. Bree Marcelino just continuing with her dominance at the plate, John. Two outs and a runner at third, but one, two. Bouncing ball hits the third. Nunez on one hop, and that goes off the glove of Tommaso. It's 2 nothing Huskies. This is what this UConn team is going to do. Even when they don't square up balls, they're going to put pressure on your defense. And you see that exactly with Reese Guevara by Maddie Traver. Strike three called right at the knees. Strikeout number six for Sokolsky. Who's this year? Because there is such great pitching. The one, two. She just keeps dominating in second run. That one gets away from Harrington. She was crossed up and the Huskies make it three nothing. Shin off another Providence miscue. Kenzie Mason just paying attention to here. That ball breaks away from Jackie Harrington. She immediately goes with the hard slide into home. That comes into this great UConn base running. Being able to come off the bench and be that alert to get the pass ball and score is huge. The 3-2. Strikeout number nine for Elise Sokolsky. With the strikeout and the base on balls. Now a bouncing ball back towards the middle. Diving stop and what a play made by Sandin. The throw to Barnett for the first out. Head coach Laura Valentino says that she takes shortstops and recruits them to put them all throughout the infield. Jonna Sandin is a shortstop. Look at how she dives to her backhand side, quick release to get that runner at first. Olsen. There it is. That's strike three call. Looking to keep it rolling here with 2 1 pitch. It's 3 and 1. Taking off is Ren. The throw. It's in time. The Huskies defense, phenomenal in this sixth inning as Sandin makes another big play happen. Stolen base, Tiana Wren slipping off the bag. I think this is a, I think this is a great decision by Wren to go, but it's holding on to the base at the last moment. Marcelino just reaching back 
And that's that veteran mind knowing that you still have to take, you still have to keep that tag on. Huskies dug out. There's a, I believe there's a stuffed Husky as well. Um, they stay in play. It does. Barnett flashing the leather. Suddenly red hot. We're going to Butler and meeting DePaul. The four teams that they're really situated with in the conference race as Olsen is one out away. The 2-2. The top dogs in the Big East keep on rolling. Nine straight wins for the UConn Huskies.